Hi, my name is Richard Dezerga from Microsoft, and in this video, we're going to look at how to use the OneDrive and Excel APIs in the Microsoft Graph to power an application. And when I say power an application, we're actually going to use OneDrive and Excel as our entire data layer for an application. And this is really good for like individual applications or group type of applications that can take advantage of the either OneDrive for Business or the files area of those groups in Office 365. And so what I thought I'd do is kind of demonstrate a working solution and we'll look under the covers a little bit on how it works. So the application I wrote here is just a really simple expense tracking application. So when I'm out on and about, I can actually go and, and capture expenses and receipts on the go. And so it's a really great application for a mobile device. In this case, this is written in Ionic 2 and Angular 2. Don't have to worry too much about the details there other than that's just the platform that this is written in. But ultimately, this mobile application behind the scenes is going to use OneDrive to store all of my receipt files. And it's even going to store all of my data in an Excel workbook that we are going to end up uploading to a OneDrive uh, location. So let's go ahead and start this just to kind of give you an idea for how the application works and then we'll kind of look under the covers. So I'm going to go ahead and start. We're going to run this in the iOS simulator for now. Uh, and um, I'm using Visual Studio Code with some tools that are specific for building Cordova applications. But you can obviously write Cordova in different places. So because we're going against the Microsoft Graph, which is secured by Azure Active Directory, you can see the first step of this expense manager application is I need to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Office 365. It's going to ask me to just provide some credentials. Um, I'll go ahead and give it some of my demo accounts. And once I'm signed in, the application is going to go look for um, some files that are set up in uh, my OneDrive for Business. So it's actually going to go out and look in my OneDrive for Business. And you can see it actually has a bunch of expenses already. So let me show you what's actually going on here. What we end up doing is when this application loads, we go and we look for an app folder and then a My Expenses folder. And in this is all the data for our application. So you can see there's a bunch of receipt files. And then I even have an expenses.xlsx. And if I go in that, what you'll see is we actually have our data. Now I have my vendor, my category, my um, um, amount, Actually, it looks like I have those backwards, but I have all of that and then my receipt reference. Uh, let me go ahead and put this into edit mode so that we can actually see this kind of functioning in real time. So if I go back to my mobile application, let's maybe look at the details of maybe this serious pie expense. So I can slide it to the side and say edit. And what it's going to actually do, it's going to go and look at that. Uh, the detail of that expense and look up the receipt. So um, if it has a receipt reference, it's going to actually go pull up that file from OneDrive for Business and display it within the application. Uh, let me go ahead and add a new expense. So I'll go ahead and click my little plus button here up at the top and we'll go ahead and say this is maybe Uber. Um, it's going to be car rental taxi and the amount is maybe 5591. Um, and we'll go ahead and um, now you can see when I select a receipt, I can go to from to the camera or the photo library, which is great. Even though this is a Cordova application, we have very rich um, plugins that we can hook into to be able to leverage those things on the device. Because I'm in a simulator, though, I'm going to go ahead and go to a photo library and select a photo. And here is my receipt photo. And you can see it displays that here. And um, once I click Save, what we should see over in our Excel workbook I'll probably have to give it focus, but what we should see is a new row. Right now we have, it looks like six expenses, but what we should end up with is a new seventh expense. So there it is. It's been added to our list. Let's go over here and see if it was added. And sure enough, there it is. You can see our Uber uh, 5591 expense. Um, now what's cool is we're, again, we're leveraging the Excel APIs that are in the Microsoft Graph. And uh, we could do almost like limitless types of things with those APIs. We could create charts with these with this data. We can uh, do a whole bunch of really advanced things. Uh, but what we're basically using it for is basically like CRUD operations on this table. So we can 
uh, obviously create new records. We can update records. We can delete records um, all within this table. So let me go back to our application and I'll give you an example. Let's delete this American Airlines flight that was uh, 46466. I'll go ahead and slide this to the side and we'll say delete. And you can see it's deleting the expense. And you can see that it deleted, it automatically um, went away here in our table. I'll do another one just to show you that here really quickly. I'll delete maybe this, the Uber one that we just created. So I'll go ahead and slide this to the side, say delete. And now watch it over on the left, it's gone. So really great, and I can, again, I can come in and if I wanted to um, maybe edit this, I could go and maybe edit this instead of 50, 41, 44, maybe make it 51, 44, click save. And again, that will, it might, there it goes, it updated it to 5144. So we're basically, again, using Excel workbook as our data source. I don't have any sort of SQL or no SQL type solution behind this. We're just using Excel. Now, um, let me show you kind of some of the advanced things about this application. I'm going to do something a little bit more interesting. I'm actually going to go back to my, uh, my OneDrive for Business, and I'm going to delete the app folder. Now this would normally be a bad thing, but I want to show you actually how this application functions. Let me rerun it here. So we're just going to restart it. And what this application is set up to do is when it launches, it, it basically has a few functions that it's going to call called ensure app folder, ensure my expenses folder, and ensure the um, my expenses workbook. So it's actually in the process. If it doesn't exist, it's going to create those. So you can see here it's it's doing some loading. And now we're in our application. Now all my expenses are gone. But the cool thing is, is the, the mobile application itself set up all of the infrastructure it needs. So if I come over here and just do a quick refresh, you can see the app folder is back. We have our my expenses folder. And in here we have our expenses.xlsx data source. Now there won't be any data in it, it's just a template. So we basically just created a template that has our data columns. But again, super easy for me to come in and, and add data to it. We'll just go ahead and click our add button. Uh, we'll Again, we'll start with Uber. We'll say it was 66.55. And we'll just select a quick receipt here, same one as before. And click save. Um, and so I haven't really shown you the, the receipts being added, but just to kind of prove that out here, uh, we'll go ahead and let this finish loading. And again, it's kind of doing two things at once here. It's adding that receipt file. And then once that receipt file is there, it's adding a reference in the Excel workbook. So let's just refresh this. So there you can see my receipt. And it gives it kind of a random ID uh, with the, the type of receipt prefixed to the front. And then if we go in our workbook, you can see that it adds the receipt inside here. So a pretty cool solution. I'll show you a little bit under the covers of the code that's, that's making this happen. Um, so I'll show you what happens when we first come into the application. It's actually going to call something called ensure config. So it's going to basically, this is making sure that all the configuration data is set up. The first thing it's going to do is ensure an apps folder exists. So um, I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see that. It's going to make sure an apps folder exists. Then once that is done, it's going to ensure that a my expenses folder exists. And then finally, it's going to ensure that the workbook is there. Now, all of these ensure functions are going to check for it. If it doesn't exist, it's going to go out and create it. So it'll create those on the fly. And just to show that to you here, if I go up, let's see, here's Ensure work Workbook. So it's going to go out to a specific endpoint using the Microsoft Graph, loop through to see if it finds it. If it finds it, it's going to resolve it. Otherwise, it's going to go out and create the workbook. So it's kind of a, you know, just a quick check to see if it exists or not. Now, in terms of, of working with Excel, that's actually quite easy as well. If I scroll down to the bottom of this little uh, drive helper, you can see I have things like add row. So here's what adds row. I can just send a row of data to it. Um, and I just go out to uh, that. I basically just post some data to an endpoint. I can update a row, which 
calls the patch verb. So in this case, I'm, I'm doing an update of a row. And the way I update a row is via an address. So everything in here I'm referencing by its row index in the uh, Excel uh, workbook. So you can see here I'm always going for sheet and it's uh, columns A through D. And just to prove that, if I go back here, you can see columns A through D is where my data is at. So I'm referencing a range and then I'm updating the data for that range. And I do the same thing for delete. So here's a delete row. Here I do a post. Uh, but one of the things I do when I, when I do my post is um, I'm saying that I want to delete that range and then I'm telling it I want to shift all the rows up. So you can see I'm sending some data in here that says shift rows up. So that's all of my CRUD operations. Now there's also a get, but ultimately I can get rows, I can add rows, I can delete rows, and I can update rows um, in Excel using the Excel APIs that are in the Microsoft Graph. And that gives me all of the CRUD operations I want. So this sample is on GitHub. Uh, it's on my GitHub and definitely pull it down because I think if anything, this drive helper TypeScript file is really helpful. It has all of those CRUD operations as well as CRUD operations for files. So you can imagine that when I add a new expense row or I delete an expense row, I'm having to manipulate uh, image files. I have to upload those to that uh, my expenses folder and I also need to be able to delete them if a expense is deleted. So um, anyway, hopefully this shows you how you can use uh, the OneDrive for Business and Excel APIs in the Microsoft Graph to completely power an application. So happy coding.